Welcome everyone to Huffy News. Today is October 26, 2018. The home of the two minute price prediction as well as giving you all the news according to the charts. And for today, we're going to talk about AMD. But before I get into this particular stock, I definitely want to remind you all to go ahead and like and share this video uh, because what we do as an organization is we look at the price charts to determine whether or not the articles that we are reading, if they are in fact at least trying to have some accurate truths in the article so we're going to talk about amd today and, and as well make sure that you all go ahead and subscribe to this particular channel because we are literally the only organization that are looking at price charts without any confusion there is no need for you to have indicators on your charts it only simply causes confusions and analysis paralysis in your decision making on whether or not to actually go into a position in a buy position or even in a sell position so literally uh, it is a powerful thing to understand what we possess without the confusion so uh, let's just go ahead and get into this article now what this article or the thumbnail of this particular video is referencing is that amd stock there's still more crashes to come for this particular stock or this particular company now, you can see on this article here, it was posted yesterday, right? Uh, the title reads that AMD downplays uh, the tariff impact, but there's still a dark cloud over chip stocks. And it's written by Annie Goss. Uh, the earning call yesterday and in an interview, uh, AMD CEO Lisa Su tried to put a positive spin on the tariffs as weak revenue tanked AMD stock. And we will look at that as we look at the price chart that may not be enough to reassure chip investors anytime soon as you'll as we'll go ahead and scroll down in this particular article uh, you always continue to see here that one of the hanging issues that the chip sector is going to have to deal with is the tariffs that is currently ongoing with china so alongside the weak earnings report that sent the stock amd tanking more than 50 percent yesterday AMD still downplayed the impact of tariffs on the chip maker's business. Uh, the revenue currently is up 4% previously from the last year, but it's down 6% from the previous quarter. Kind of shows you a trend that is leaning towards weaker sales for AMD. The total revenue fell short of the estimates, uh, which was around $1.65 billion versus what the analysts wanted 1.7 billion now the dark cloud that is hanging over amd and as well as the chip sector as a whole is that conflict with china the tariffs okay uh, you can see here that lisa Su she tried to put a positive spin on the tariffs she's trying to tell all her investors that they don't see anything material as it relates to the tariffs, whether it's pull-ins or just the overall impact of tariffs. Now, listen to what she just said. They don't see anything material as it relates to the tariffs, whether it's pull-ins or just the overall impact of tariffs. Now, the next statement in this article doesn't correlate with what I just said. She goes on and say, we are doing quite a bit to adjust our supply chain so why are you doing quite a bit of work to adjust your supply chain when you don't see anything material as to the tariffs those things do not go together so you got to question exactly what is she trying to insinuate on those two statements now let's go ahead and see what else she continues to say uh, Sue also added in an interview with Barron on Thursday that she sees the trade conflict as an opportunity to gain market share as chip makers exercise caution more generally so do you think amd is going to be going out on a limb and trying to gain market share while all the other chip makers exercise caution the outlook is far from certain as companies try to calibrate supply chain issues and investor expectations in the run-up to another possible hike in tariffs so She's trying to go out on a limb and say, now this might be a perfect opportunity for AMD to uh, go in and grab some of the market share while the other chip makers are trying to be a little more lenient and restrictive in their overall prospects of gaining more revenue. So 
that definitely has to play out in order for AMD to continue to see uh, the ability to move higher in price. But if the overall sector is being a little bit less restrictive in their potential to try to gain market share, then I don't see why AMD would not be participating in that same movement. Uh, let's go on and see what else this article reads. So uh, in late September, uh, 10 percent tariffs were instituted on Chinese imports and tariffs could rise as high as 25 percent in January if both of these nations, America and China, cannot arrive at a deal. Uh, the September tariffs included more than 90 lines central to the semiconductor industry and the global trade group semi estimated that they will cost its 400 U.S. members more than $700 million in additional duties alone. And that's not even accounting for additional costs or other pressures associated with adjusting their production processes. That is the reason why investors are anxious. They're nervous because over the next couple of months, foreseeably, there is a lot of uncertainty and doubt in this particular sector for AMD. The tariffs are another moving target. So uh, one of the executives for Micron even stated that these tariffs could squeeze profit margins for several quarters to come. Now, that's the things I want you to pay attention to is several quarters. So the tariffs that are ongoing right now between China and America right now does not seem to be any deal in place. And even Micron is getting prepared for a duration, a long event between the terrorist war between America and China. He continues to say, gradually, they're trying to mitigate most of the impact from these terrorists over the next three to four quarters. That's the whole year of 2020. So even Micron CFO is literally telling you that they don't see any light at the end of the tunnel right now for the trade war going on between China and America. So I would think that the CEO of AMD also feels the same way. They're trying to mitigate most of the impact over the next three to four quarters. So you definitely need to keep that in mind for AMD as well. We really do have an environment right now where there are a lot of cross currents, meaning that there's many things that can affect the chip sector market and we definitely need to look at the price charts to see if those cross currents really come into play over the next couple of weeks and months and from the price chart it definitely looks as if those cross currents will have a major impact on amd stock so uh given that the ceo amd is trying to downplay uh, a lot of these cross currents that can literally affect this particular market sector we need to look at the price charts as well to see whether or not she has a point as to trying to downplay the tariffs or do we definitely need to be concerned as to the value of AMD stock going into the following months. So now let's go ahead and look at the price charts, the price chart for AMD. Now, this is the monthly chart that you see for AMD right now. And literally what we have here on the monthly chart definitely shows you that more crashes are to come for AMD. I am definitely not confident that AMD will continue to move to the upside right now. The spread of this current month definitely shows you that more downside movement is in store. Literally, I can see it trying to come down and hold support around $16. Uh, a stock per share but ultimately if that trade war with china continues to raise on twelve dollars or even eight dollars can be a nice support area for amd and uh, and literally if we close this particular month below twenty dollars then yes i'm still seeing movement to the downside in the price in amd so just be prepared for that looking at it on the weekly chart for amd you can see here as well that even for this current week that we are in, uh, the market is going to try to hold support at that $17.50 area. But literally, I can see it's coming all the way back down to 15. That seems like a very uh, logical area of support. So keep that in mind as we continue to go on throughout the weeks that AMD 
can move down to $15. And if the overall market and the terrorists continue, $10 can be the next support area ultimately for AMD. So the support areas that I'm seeing for this particular stock is $15. $12.50 and $10 over the next couple of months. So as this continue to play out, if the resolution to the trade war is not resolved relatively soon, then expect the continuation to downside prices to continue. The price charts is literally telling us that the market participants are not uh, confident that the market is going to turn over to the upside for AMD as of now. Now, granted, we do have a couple of months. Things can change. But as of right now, what the CEO of AMD is trying to downplay, she definitely need to me and the price charts you need to take serious because right now there's a lot of doubt and uncertainty with the trade war and it is definitely being reflected on the price chart. I'm still seeing indications of more crashes to come. Now, what do you all think? Do you think AMD is going to continue to move lower in price? Or do you think it's going to find a nice support area right there at $17.50? Let us know with a comment in the comment section of this video. We'd definitely like to hear what or like to see what you all have to say about this particular stock. And in the meantime, go ahead and su subscribe to this channel because we will give you more uh, videos, content of this particular nature to where we will make sure that what we are reading, what we are hearing is in fact what is on the price charts. Again, go ahead and like and share as well. We do appreciate your opinions. So in the meantime, we will talk to you all later. Make sure you all maintain your profitability.